anti-war organization in Washington says it's being targeted because it wants U.S. troops to immediately return from Afghanistan and Iraq. The Answer Coalition says the District of Columbia is trying to take away its freedom of speech. Press TV's Colin Campbell explains. The government is increasingly trying to limit or eviscerate or criminalize grassroots organizing itself. Members of the Answer Coalition say they've been hit with $7,500 worth of fines for anti-war posters put up across Washington, D.C. Signs that read U.S. out of Afghanistan and Iraq now were posted starting at the beginning of March. Coalition members called a press conference at their headquarters to protest the fines and speak out against the war. We put up posters and we hand out leaflets. And that's why thousands of people hear the call. We will not be leaving Iraq and Afghanistan unless enough people in this country stand up. The Answer Coalition, which means act now to stop war and end racism, has been a staunch critic of the Bush and Obama administrations for their war involvement in Iraq and Afghanistan. This weekend, it'll take part in a march right here on the nation's capital in opposition to the wars. Tens of thousands of people are expected to attend from all over the country. The Department of Public Works says it levied the fines on Answer, demanding that members of the organization remove all posted signs around the district. The $7,500 is just the latest fine Answer is facing. The organization has been charged with more than $70,000 in fines already, most of them stemming from previous anti-war demonstration posters. Well, we've been very successful, I think, uh, since the war start to educate people about how illegal and immoral they are. But one thing, one thing we haven't been successful about is a changing, um, you know, our government's policies. Last week, the U.S. Court of Appeals for the D.C. Circuit ruled that Answer had the right to challenge D.C.'s regulations as unconstitutional. Answer members say they're being targeted. Starting uh, 18 months ago, this uh, targeting of answer began. There's now $70,000, $80,000 in fines, and it's growing. The Partnership for Civil Justice Fund sent a cease and desist letter this week to the Department of Public Works, but the D.C.'s DPW has yet to respond. So far, answer says it has no plans to pay the fines. For Press TV, Colin Campbell, Washington.